So when it comes to running your photo or your video production company, there's a lot more that's involved other than just taking great pictures and getting awesome footage. You gotta make sure that you're giving a great customer experience. You gotta know what's going on with the particulars in your business. And more importantly, you gotta make sure that you're in a position to keep the cash register ringing. So in today's video, that's what we're gonna be talking about. Seven pieces of software that I feel are a must have when you're running your photo or your video production company. So let's just jump into it. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan Moore. I have a visual media company and I'm a creative entrepreneur and I like to make videos like these for other creative entrepreneurs who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live. So if that sounds like something that you're into, feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel where I talk about what it's like to build a business on your terms. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna be talking about seven apps or softwares that I believe that you will need that I believe are a must have when it comes to running your video or your photo production company. Like I said, it's not just about taking great photos and it's not just about getting awesome footage. You gotta make sure that you are running things right. After all, you are running a business and if you're trying to go from part-time into full-time, here are a few things that you're definitely going to need. The first resource that you are gonna to wanna to have is a CRM. Now a CRM is basically just a fancy way of saying, you know, contacts is like a digital Rolodex. CRM actually stands for Customer Relations Manager, but really all it is is a place where you can keep all your contacts in one spot. The reason a CRM is so important is because as you are growing, as you're going on, you're meeting more people, you're getting new clients, you're gonna wanna have a place where you can have all these people in one spot where you have all their contact, whether it be their email, their phone number, you know, their address, because this is basically your audience that you're either gonna to market to and or you're gonna get referrals from. Now, there are a bunch of different CRM systems out there. Some are free, some you have to pay for. The one that I use right now is called HubSpot. It is free, it does have a paid version, but basically for the, uh, for the most part right now, I really just use it to keep all of my contacts in one spot. It's also great because it allows you to log activity that you're having with your contacts. So you can log your emails, you can log meetings, um, you know, and it gives you a lot of options, whether you know you wanna save their, their email, their phone number, their address, all of those things. Another great option that you can use is something like MailChimp. MailChimp also has a free version as well. I believe they let you get about 2,000 contacts for free, and then after that, I believe you gotta start paying for it, but that's plenty of space. What's great about MailChimp is that you can also send out email blasts. Even if you're using a system like HubSpot, they'll allow you to export all your contacts so then you can upload them or import them into a system like MailChimp. If you ever wanted to go ahead and send out an email blast, you can segment your different contacts for different lists for different reasons. So whatever it is that you got going on, if you wanna inform them or send out an email blast, it makes it really easy. So first things first, having a CRM is crucial because you wanna have all of your contacts in one spot. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about some of the actual tools that you will probably be using most of the time. The first one that I wanna talk about is Adobe Lightroom. Now I use Adobe Lightroom all the time. This is where I actually do most of my photo editing. I don't do a whole lot of crazy editing, so I feel like Lightroom is great. It's really simple to use, it's really powerful, and if you wanna get crazy with it, you can get crazy with it as well. One of the great things that I like about Lightroom is it helps you speed up your workflow, especially when you're using presets. Now you can create your own presets, you can purchase presets, you can download them. I actually have a free preset pack that you can download completely for free. You can check that out by clicking on uh, the link in the description below. So when it comes to moving fast, when it comes to working and getting a great quality product where you can really fine tune it, but you wanna keep it super simple, 
but you also want to have a pretty fast workflow, Lightroom is awesome for this purpose. Okay, so the next piece of software that I use is actually Photoshop. Now, like I said, I do most of my photo editing in Lightroom, but from time to time, I do edit photos in Photoshop every once in a while. I usually use Photoshop when I have to do something super crazy. So, you know, if I gotta, you know, I don't know, separate a subject from the background. That's super, you know, not super crazy, but it's a little bit more intricate than something you would do in Lightroom. Also in Photoshop, this is where I make all of my YouTube thumbnails, or if I'm working for clients, this is where I make their YouTube thumbnails. I know you can use Illustrator as well, and there's other programs out there that you can use, but I feel really familiar with Photoshop. Once you start using the whole Adobe Creative Suite, you get really familiar with it you know all the shortcuts and the keystrokes and it just makes your workflow move that much faster. So when it's time to do some heavy lifting or I have to do some heavy editing and I really gotta go in, go in, I turn to Photoshop. So when it comes to photography, Lightroom and Photoshop are my go-to programs, but when it comes to video editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I basically use all apps in the Adobe Creative Suite. Now, when it comes to video editing, like I said, I love to use Adobe Premiere Pro, especially since I already use uh, a program like Lightroom, which you can create LUTs. So, you know, a LUT is just a different look that you can give your videos. You can create it in Lightroom, you can bring it over into Premiere and apply it to your videos. There's a lot of things that you can do. Premiere is a really great program. It is also in Adobe Creative Suite, obviously, but you know it does have the flexibility to do all of the things that you're gonna wanna do. So when you get past the point of just being an amateur and just doing videos for you know friends here and there and you wanna start stepping your game up and taking it to a whole nother level, Premiere is an option that I would highly suggest checking out. You can do all the things that you need to do, when it comes to the professional work, sometimes it's not always super exciting, like doing things like captions or whatever, but you have all those options in there. You can bring in and import all of your files. And if you're already using the Adobe Creative Suite, it's great because you know it already communicates with those other programs and it makes it really easy, super simple to get really creative and really intricate. So now that I've ran through basically the editing programs, once you get all of that done, now it's time for you to present it to your client so they can take a look at it and tell you whether they like it, whether they don't like it, and what changes that they want you to make. So if you're working with video, you especially know this struggle, which is gonna bring me to the next piece of software that I use, which is called Whipster. Now you can find this program here on whipster.io, and basically, what it is, is it, it's a uh, program that allows you to upload your videos. You can also upload different types of files, but I mainly use it for video. But you can upload your video and you can have your clients check it out. They can leave comments right on the video. They can click onto certain parts of the video, tell you their thoughts. They can share it with other people and they can share their thoughts and then you can go back and revise the video. What makes this program so great is because if you're doing revisions to a video, you know how annoying, okay, email threads can be, right? You know, at first it starts off with just one email and people may timestamp things wrong too. So that can be a little confusing in itself. But then after a while, it becomes this long email thread. You become, you know, completely confused. You don't even know what it is that you're looking for anymore. And so when you have a program like this and your client can make all the changes right on the actual video, get the timestamps completely right, it makes it perfect. Prior to this, I was just sending Google Drive, Google Album, maybe a YouTube link. And you know, after a while, that just kind of gets repetitive. With this program here, it allows you to you know, stack versions so you can just create a new version or upload a new version. You can tell when the client has looked at it. And then you can also see their comments and suggestions that they wanna make inside of there. And here's a bonus tip. If you use Adobe Premiere, you can take those suggestions that they make in the uh, in Whipster and then you can import it right into Adobe Premiere and a set up markers so you know exactly what changes to make 
on what part of the video. So this has been a great addition into the arsenal because it also gives a more professional experience. So instead of sending a YouTube or a Vimeo or a Google Drive link, you actually have this viewer that they can check it out in. They can leave their comments right on there, like I said, and then it can be approved right in there. And once it's ready for approval, they can just download it right from there onto their computer or onto their device and everybody's happy. And real quick, Another great thing about this program is that you can use it on desktop and or mobile. So you don't have to worry about your client being near a desktop computer to use this program. Now the next piece of software that I use is a big one and that is FreshBooks. Now FreshBooks is basically an invoicing software. Think of it as like um, QuickBooks you know, not pro, but like say QuickBooks self-employed, it's more of a simplified version. FreshBooks was really designed for the freelancers. It's got a really nice and smooth interface. Um, you pay based on clients, so that's the one thing I kind of don't like about it, but I mean, they do kind of give you, you know, a good set of clients for each tier as you go along. But what's good about FreshBooks is that it keeps track of all of your, you know, your numbers that you need to know. So you can see how many people owe you money, you can create your invoices, you can keep track of all of your expenses, you can keep track of you know which clients are paying and which time they're supposed to be paying. It allows you to do a lot of things within its program. One of the things that I love that you can do is that you can create custom quotes and or estimates that you can send out to your client. Also, you can have them sign off on it. So you know if you don't have a contract or something along those lines, you can write up all the terms right there in the custom quote or estimate, and you can have them digitally sign off on that. And from there, you can just take that quote and or estimate and then convert it right into an invoice, making it live and ready to go. And like I said, FreshBooks is really sweet. It's a super simple interface. There's a lot of different programs out there. Like I mentioned, there's QuickBooks, there's Xero. There's a lot of them out there. You know, you can use pen and paper if you want to, but I suggest using a program like this. They allow you to take credit cards. They allow you to take ACH, you know, um, it just makes it really smooth and easy for you to get your money. And you want to make sure that you're keeping track of all of the money coming in and all of the money going out. Because if you don't know where you're making money or where you're losing money, you're sure to go out of business pretty quickly. Now, the last program that I use is not going to be a must have. I'm going to say you don't have to have it, but I like to have it. And that is Evernote. Now, Evernote is an online app and it is a mobile app, so you can use it on your phone and or you can use it on the computer. I believe that if you want to use it on more devices than that, they will charge you. But, you know, using it from your desktop to your phone is plenty good. I like to use Evernote to keep track of certain things, whether I have thoughts that I just want to jot down real quick whether I'm doing some type of research and I want to, you know, copy and paste something and put it off to the side. Also like to type up notes here and there, you know, maybe put some images up in there just to kind of get my thoughts out. The nice thing is that is if I'm working on something on the computer and then, you know, I hop onto my phone, everything's right there. So I could keep track of everything in one spot. Now it's not a must have, but I do think it is very, very useful, especially since it's a free tool. And admittedly, if you want to use it to make to-do lists, you can do that as well. I myself am still old school. I like the pen and the pad when it comes to that. Every time I try to get into the whole digital to-do list thing, it just never works for me. But I do like the fact that Evernote does allow me to, you know, have a place where I can jot something down, keep my thoughts, and either start it on a computer and then finish off on my cell phone and or start on my cell phone and then pick back up on the desktop later on down the road. So those are my suggestions on what I think that you guys should have when it comes to running your photo or your video production company. Like I said, it's more than just taking great pictures or great photos. You want to make sure that you are delivering a great customer experience. You want to make sure that you're coming off as professional and you want to make sure that you're keeping track of everything that's going on in your business, especially your numbers, because that's what's going to give you success 
later on down the road because for real, think about it. It doesn't matter how good you are. There's a lot of talented people out there, but if you don't know how to keep track of everything that's going on in your business, you won't have a business for very long. So hopefully you found this video useful and helpful. And if so, give me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know where you guys are at right now on your creative journey. And for all my people out there who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live, this is your man, Jonathan Moore, and I'm signing out. Peace.